Is there an ideal home size or possibly a way to determine the right size home to maximize happiness? This question of ideal home size is one that I recently asked myself while I was fantasizing on Zillow. And it's a question that just might have an answer. Homes come in all shapes and sizes, from micro apartments and tiny homes, all the way to mega mansions like this 150,000 square foot disaster in LA with 21 bedrooms, 42 bathrooms, and which is currently sitting abandoned. Yep, most people are looking for something in the middle, a Goldilocks zone of square footage where it is just right. The median size for a single family home sold in 2020 was 2,333 square feet, but that's comprised of both new and old construction. If you look at just new construction of homes built in 2020, those come in at 2,505 square feet. But homes in the United States used to be much smaller. In the decade following World War II, the 1950s was part of the era known as the baby boom. Even with all those growing families, however, the average new home in 1950 was just 983 square feet. The 1960s saw the average American home grow in size, with the average new home coming in at 1,289 square feet. The 1970s saw a lot of economic upheaval, but even with widespread economic recession, homes got bigger. 1,500 square feet was the average home built in 1970. In addition to the creation of the Rubik's Cube and my birth, the 80s saw an expansion of the middle class. As expected, the average family home grew in size and cost. In 1980, the average size of a new home was 1,740 square feet. The 90s saw the birth of the Home and Garden television channel and kicked off an era of home makeover shows. Such shows inspired us to tackle big renovation projects and made us all feel like we needed new and better. The average new home in 1990 grew to 2,080 square feet. Okay, at this point, I think we all see the trend, so let me just get to the numbers. In 2000, the average new home was 2,266 square feet. In 2010, 2,392 square feet. And in 2020, 2,505 square feet. How does that compare to other homes around the globe? Well, it's gonna be no surprise to learn that on average, US homes are larger, 600 to 800 square feet larger than those in comparable industrialized nations. And since my original question was about ideal home size, particularly as it relates to happiness, let's look at the average home size in Finland, a country known for its happiness. The 2021 World Happiness Report ranked Finland as the world's happiest country. Finland ranks high in factors like social support, a healthy life expectancy, and personal freedom. But what about their homes? The average size of Finnish homes in 2018 was 79.5 square meters, or 855 square feet. By U.S. standards, that's small. The U.S. ranked 14th on the World Happiness Report in 2021, which is up from our previous spot of 18. Yet, if you look at happiness over time in the United States, it has been on the decline, declining while our average home size has been increasing. Yet, I know you can't draw any conclusions from that comparison, but I do have some reasons why a larger home can definitely make you less happy. But first, a word from our sponsor. This video doesn't have a sponsor. It also doesn't have those annoying ads in the middle. If you like that, consider hitting the thumbs up button. Now, back to talking about homes. As someone who identifies as an environmentalist, the eco impact of my home is something that is important to me. And larger homes are gonna have more environmental impact from needing more resources to build them, more energy to cool and heat them. And then those larger home sizes are going to really mean that you're gonna have a longer commute because bigger homes mean bigger plots, 
contribute to urban sprawl and make people live farther away from where they work, go to school, um, shop, everything in between. But not that great for the environment. I'm also a frugal person and a bit of a finance nerd, so the cost of a home is important to me. With a bigger home, in addition to that extra space, you're gonna get a larger mortgage, more cost for upkeep and repairs, cleaning cost, either your time or your money, you're gonna have higher property taxes, most likely, and then with that extra space, you have more places to put stuff buying stuff that you probably didn't need in the first place. The median home price in America is roughly $370,000, which is 5.5 times the national median household income of roughly $68,000. And while the price of a home is influenced by more than just its size, with the average American being more than $90,000 in debt, 70% worrying that they won't have enough in retirement, and rising housing costs, I think that there might be something wrong with our growing home sizes. When thinking of the ideal home size, the number of people living in the home is something to consider because of course a single person is gonna need less space than a family of five. Yet while our homes have been getting larger, our family sizes have been getting smaller. Let me look at some numbers that I found. With declining birth rates, the average family size has gone from 3.58 in the 1970s to 3.15 in 2020. And more and more people are living alone. Combine that with the increase in home size and we've grown our square foot per person of our homes from 418 square feet in 1970 to 740 square feet per person in 50 years. That's a 44% increase. But do we actually need all of this added space? It turns out, no. A 2017 study from UCLA tracked foot traffic in the average American home and found that the average American family only uses 40% of their home's floor plan regularly. Michelle and I currently live in this 750 square foot apartment. And while our friends have commented that it is small, I think it's perfect for us. We've been working from home here without a problem. It has just enough space for all of our stuff, everything we need uh, to feel happy and content, and it's relatively easy to clean. I do wish we had just a little bit more space though, mainly for filming YouTube videos and other projects, and uh, outdoor space wouldn't be bad either. So given everything that I have considered with home size, home price, um, the environmental impact, what is the ideal home size, particularly one to, to maximize happiness? Well, I think it is between 400 and 600 square feet per person. This gives you a little bit of flexibility depending on your family needs, let's say if you work from home, but that is more than enough. For a family of three, looking at a home between 12,000 and 18,000 square feet from all of my extensive Zillow research, that will give you a three to four bedroom house, two bathrooms, a nice size living room, dining room, kitchen, and then heck, if you throw in a garage, a basement, and have a nice little outdoor area, you're living a life of luxury. So I think 400 to 600 square feet per person is the ideal home size. What do you think? How big is your place? Do you like it? Do you need more space, less space? Let me know in a comment down below. And thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you wanna stick around and watch other videos from me, I can interest you in some here that should have popped up. If not, there's probably links down below. Otherwise, I wish you a great day and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.